Okay, so I'm working on a spinet at the moment. Um, so they're really strange pianos. This is a normal piano. This is um, a Korean Young Chang, standard upright. And as you can see, you've got the um, you've got the hammers here, the whipping. You can see everything going on. So when you hit a key, it lifts it up, and it strikes the string above. But um, in a spinet, um, the whole action is down so that half of it is below the key bed, uh, which makes it really, really difficult to work on. Um, and it also makes it look like a slight alien contraption. Um, because, oops, as you can see here, this is what a spinet action looks like. So you've got to tie it up in order to get it out of the back of the piano. And instead of pushing down and it strikes up, when you push down on the key, it lifts this up. And here's Sen, come to say hello. It lifts this up and it hits like this. So the whipping and everything is just behind this extra pole, um, which you can see all along here. So I'm just about to test whether or not all of these are working uh, to see if there's anything other than the hammers, which I did yesterday, that need to be uh, fixed. Okay, so this is not going to be the neatest job in the world. Um, this is a very, um, I was going to say very old actually, it's about 19, late 1960s I think, um, American spinet action, which is why it looks a bit weird at the back here. Um, and as you can see, the felt on the hammer is coming off um, on quite a few of these. Um, yeah, all the way down to the base. Um, now, Obviously, as well, it's got quite a bit of wear on the hammers. So ideally, you would just buy the replacements and replace the hammer felt, replace the damper felt. Um, but being in Rwanda, that's quite difficult. So we're not too sure whether or not the piano is worth spending money on the spare parts to sort of renovate it. So we're going to attempt to fix the hammers to just to get the piano playing to decide whether or not it's then worth um, revamping it. Um, hopefully it is, I think it will be, but this is my first time replacing the, um, the hammers. I'm not doing the neatest job in the world because 
as mentioned it, this is a bit of a salvage operation rather than a, a beautiful refurbishment um, so the job today is just to get the hammer felt back on the hammers and to make it stable enough that when it hits the string it doesn't pop off again so the first thing that I'm doing is I'm taking the hammer felt and I'm I've got a little um, Black & Decker steamer and I'm just applying a bit of steam because at the moment they're very very brittle it's sort of very hard to get them to close so if I just give them a little bit of a steam Then they suddenly they become much more malleable and pliable um, and because the, the weather's quite warm here so once you stick it on the hammer it dries out very quickly and doesn't really interfere with the glue so the next thing that i'm doing is i've just got some um, general wood glue here um, and i'm just giving it a very generous slather on the end of the hammer and it's getting a bit messy, but as I said, I'm going for more of a functional approach than a refined one at the moment. And as well, whilst just letting that get a little bit tacky. Um, so what I'm using for the string is usually people advise upholstery uh, string, which is very, very strong. And you do need something very, very strong because normal cotton will just snap. Um, but again, I've, I've looked for that in Kigali and I can't find any. So what I have got is just some embroidery silk. Um, now embroidery silk, one strand of embroidery silk actually has six, um, it's not very clear in this camera, but it actually has about six um, strands to, to it. And all you need to do is to pick apart two of them and it just twirls apart as you pull it down slowly. Um, so two strands from picked out of one strand of embroidery silk will be strong enough to um, hold around the hammer. Yeah, it's a bit tricky because I don't have anything to hold this with, but hopefully you can see this. So this is just, um, it's just one strand and you're just, you're very, very carefully just slowly pulling it and it just starts to unravel into two, into two pieces. So what you're doing is you're tying this into a loop so that when you put it over here, of course you'd use your fingers, but I need my other hand to hold the camera. When you put it over the hammer and you pull, that then tightens around the hammer and holds it really tightly to the glue. So you need to put quite a bit of glue on there and just squidge it like a big sandwich. Okay, so we've got a lot of base hammers coming off and the problem with the base hammers is that the the felt a bit of glue on me um, the felt ends are a lot shorter than they are on the smaller hammers. So the smaller hammers you can do a pretty good job of tying them down and gluing them in place. Um, but what I'm having to do here is because they're so short when you you push down on the top the bottom comes off when you push down on the bottom the top comes off so what I'm doing is I'm steaming them until they're soft enough to pinch together and then I'm tying them and I'm letting them dry tied so hopefully um, 
they will fit a little bit better and I can just slot them on with glue once they're they're a bit firmer um, but yes the base the base hammers are a bit more problematic So as you can see, after you've sort of steamed these and tied them and left them for a while, then when you take the string off, they remain extremely closed. So here's one I've just put a bit of glue on. Um, and all you need to do really is to slot them onto the hammer, um, looking for the string indent to see if it's the right way up. And then it gets a bit messy, but it fits on really, really, really nicely. Um, no more gap between the uh, lower and the upper part of the hammer. And then as you see here, I just use a little bit of string just to tie it on and keep it attached whilst the glue is drying. But um, that's a slight, the steaming method is a slightly more effective way of reshaping the hammer uh, felt before putting it on um, rather than just trying to do it with string, which works on the upper half of the, the hammers pretty well. But when you get down here, the shape and the size of the hammers makes it a lot harder just to tie the felt back on without reshaping it. Thank you. 